Dear friends and followers, welcome back to my channel and to a great question. Why are some airplane noses painted black and others are not? And what an airplane nose has to do with your car's dashboard? You'll find out in the next couple of minutes. So no messing about and let's get started. One, two, Mexico 404 ground. Oddly enough, the gate is not available yet. Continue on Bravo and hold short of November. Today's video is brought to you by the Captain Joe online shop. We sadly only have 100 planes remaining in the hangar and will then end the line of the Captain Joe 747-8. Therefore, I have decided that these last 100 orders will get an extra gift, either a sticker, a keyring, or one of my planes from my apartment added to their shipment. Like this retro livery cargo looks 747-400. So click the link in the description box below to order your plane today. And yes, it is a fantastic Christmas gift. Back in the days, older airplane jets, turboprops and fighter jets could often be seen with black painted nose cones. Sometimes the entire nose or only the very front of it and the rest of it being either white or in the airline livery. Now the immediate question arises, what is actually beneath the nose cone? Well, no surprises here, as most of you guys know, the weather radar. Now there are exceptions, some regional or other smaller aircraft, which have the engine at the front mounted their weather radar onto the leaning edge on one of their wings. The radar antenna needs to be able to see ahead of the aircraft in order to detect upcoming thunderstorms or clouds with a lot of precipitation, which the pilots then circumnavigate. Now therefore, nothing should obscure the radar beams meaning the nose cone can't be made of metal like the rest of the plane. Compare this to your last visit to the dentist when they took an x-ray of your teeth. The rays of the x-ray machine can't penetrate through metal, leaving a white spot on the photo. Similar to the weather radar, anything blocking the radar rays will give a distorted picture on your weather radar screen. Therefore, fiberglass materials are used to shape the radome. Side note, Radome is made up of two words, radar and dome. Now, besides being aerodynamically shaped to reduce any unwanted drag, the radome also has to repel water. Now, as the nose cone is exposed to minus 54 degrees and colder, standing water will immediately freeze, yet again showing unusable returns on your weather radar display. Nevertheless, over time, dust, debris or hail battering the nose could slowly abrade the sensitive surface of the radome. Now that could cause water to enter, freeze up and damage the radome even more. Now engineers then came up with the idea to place a rubber coating over the radome to prevent further abrasion. It was a cheap solution and the color of this rubber material coincidentally was black. Now the amount on how much was covered in black rubber material varied from airline to airline. Technically, only the very forward tip of the nose had to be protected by it. Now later, airlines stepped away from the rubber coating and then painted the noses with black paint. And back then, the fuselage was covered in lead-based paint to prevent corrosion, but wasn't allowed to be sprayed over the nose due to the metal compounds of that paint. So yet again, cheaper black paint was applied without interfering or limiting the radar's performance. Eventually, that color range grew more and more and airlines painted their planes in their color of choice to match the livery. One other reason was style. For example, former Lufthansa planes such as the 707, 727 and 737 fleet had a polished metal finish. And because polished aluminium can't be bought in a spray can, Lufthansa chose a subtle black to blend in with the rest of their livery. Now here comes a question for you guys. Why do you think that Airbus always paints the nose cone of their brand new planes in white or red just as they leave the factory before the rest of the wings and the fuselage gets sprayed? Please share your thoughts in the comments. I personally do not know why they do that. Now the best answer gets pinned. <laughs> Now you can sometimes see planes where either the nose cone or parts ahead of the windscreen are painted black. What is that for, you may ask? Now I have set up a white surface next to a black surface. Let's say my flashlight represents the sun and I point it onto the white surface. You see a certain reflection of the flashlight 
on the white piece of paper below it. Now, shining it at the black surface, you see there's only little to no reflection at all. I think you know where I'm going with this. These parts of the plane are painted black to reduce the glare or swallow the sunlight within the cockpit. And that's for the same reason that dashboards on most planes are painted in black or darker colors with a matte finish similar to the dashboard in your car. We all know how disturbing it can be when you have a ticket receipt laying on your dashboard reflecting in the windscreen. Sadly, the planes with black noses have become a rare sight. Better weather radar systems have been developed and so has the paint that doesn't need to be black anymore, protecting the radar from abrasion. But luckily, most major carriers have brought back their former liveries on a few of their newer planes on which the black noses can be seen again, reminding us of the good old days. Comment below which retro airline livery you like the most. And whilst you're at it, don't forget to order your Captain Joe plane. I admit it doesn't come with a black nose because it's a modern 747-8. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video and here is your checklist. Subscribe to my channel, check. Activate the notification bell, check. Follow my Instagram account, check. Perform a touch and go at my website, check. And don't forget, a good pilot is always learning. Wishing all the best, your Captain Joe.